How's it going bros? My name is PewDiePie and this is my Stuck on a Puzzle guitar lesson. And this would be an amazing introduction if I was PewDiePie. But I'm not. So... What's up everybody? This is Jeff Green and welcome to my last video of the year. Today we're going to learn how to play Stuck on the Puzzle which is an amazing song by Alex Turner. I have just done a cover a few days ago, so go and check it out. But I will see you later for the TikTok -tick talk of the end of the year. So let's go on, cut with shit, and talk about the song. Uh, this song is kinda easy as an introduction, a verse, and a chorus, and then obviously has a final. But like all the acoustic songs I have already explained to you, uh, I'm going to show you first the chords you will have to learn for each single part and then we'll go through that part and say to you which kind of chord you have to play and for how many times. So let's go on and learn the chords of the introduction, which are E, sharp G, Obviously, if you already know this chord, everything is easier, but if you don't, don't worry guys, I'm here for that. Let's start with the E chord. This chord is kind of simple, uh, but I'm going to teach you just the not barri version, because the barri version could be a little bit um, annoying to get, this one. Let's go on and take a look at this one. Open E string will be the first note you play. Then the second fret on the A and the D. Then you play the first fret on the G and open B and E string. This is the E chord. The second chord you have to take is Barry, obviously, because acoustic songs work like this. Um, your point finger will be on the 4th fret of all the strings then you have, um, I think I'll zoom it a little bit, sorry guys oh yeah this is high, high technology, high technology so uh, I was talking about the sharp G your point finger will be on the 4th fret of all the strings then ring finger and pinky will be on the 6th fret of D and A <laughs> Our middle finger will be on the fifth of the G, so this is the sharp G chord. Uh, how about the A chord? I'm pretty sure that some of you uh, have heard about this chord, it's pretty popular. Um, you can play it in two different ways, to be honest, in a lot of different ways, but for this song I advise you to play it like this. Your point finger will be on the fifth fret of all strings, Ring finger and pinky will be on the 7th fret of D and A and middle finger will be on the 6th fret of the G. If you are not confident with Barry, this one works too. 2nd fret of D, G and B string, open E string, open A string. But in this chord you have to be really careful not picking the open E string because it does not belong to the chord. So this is the A chord. This one. The one you prefer to be honest. The last chord we have to learn in this introduction is the F sharp minor. Point finger will be on all the strings of the second fret, ring finger and pinky on the fourth fret of A and D, and that's it. This is F sharp minor. So now you have your four chords E, sharp G, A. F sharp minor, but what do you do with them in order to get the introduction? You just have to pick your chord and start playing its notes. I'm not the kind of fool who's gonna 
sit and sign to you. The wild stars. But last night I look up into the dark of the blue. You go back. So you play this introduction for twice and we'll be good to go. What about the verse? The verse has very few chords different uh, from the introduction because we will have the A chord, B, E, sharp G, and you play this part for three times. So. So, um, as I told you before, we'll have the A chord, we have already seen this, then the B. The B could be a little bit tricky for beginners, but don't worry guys, everything's fine. You put your point finger on the 2nd fret of all strings, and uh, your other three fingers, so mid, middle finger, ring finger and pinky, on the 4th fret of D, G and B string, like this. So, uh, a little bit of a technical advice, if you were not able to get this chord yet, uh, try to put your point finger as near as you can to the metal bar between the 2nd and the 3rd fret. Uh, in order to take this chord, you don't need your finger to be here, in the exact middle of the fret, but it can be really, really near to the bar so that your three fingers could reach a little bit easier, in an e easier way. Uh, the fourth fret of the the strings you have to play here. This is easier than this. It kind of depends on you and on the exercise you put over this chord. I can say that um, I still have nightmares about the B chord where I was uh, at my very beginnings with the guitar. So keep on going guys. If you need anything you can just write to me and I will try to answer you with better advices. So after you have played the B chord we will go on and play the E. We already seen this one too. Sharp G is a known chord as well. So you play for three times this. Something in your magnetism forcing them to get to know Minor. The A minor is pretty simple because it's like the A, major A, but you just have to put out your middle finger. So um, the middle finger on the 5th fret of G will go out and you will have your A minor chord. If you are playing A like this, you just have to do this. Instead of pressing the 2nd fret on D, G and B, you will press the 2nd fret on D and G and the first fret on the B. Still putting some attention not playing the open E string because it's bad. So this is A minor from this position. This is A major and this is A minor. So this is pretty much it, the verse. You play for three times A, B, E, sharp G and then at the fourth time you play A and open uh, I mean A major A then A minor. Let's go on to the chorus and we all have known chords. We have E, B and F sharp minor. And you play this for four times so.
So, uh, pretty much now that you know the introduction, the verse and the chorus, you have all the song because now we will have a new uh, introduction, let's say, even if it's not an introduction, but you will have again the hard page. I know this is not the term, I will look for it and write uh, into the, the description. Uh, with um, nobody I ask it wrong to be the one who you you surrender any man who was a little way into the other room still pretending. After you have played the verse exactly like before, we'll go on to the chorus. But this time, you will be playing the chorus instead of four times for six times. Because it's always E, B, and F sharp minor. But you will do this. going on and I haven't explained this yet to you so after you have played the chorus for six times you will go on and play some chords uh, which is something like a transition between the chorus to the final uh, the chords are E sharp G A F sharp minor This one are pretty fast, one after the other. So the first are. Oh no! From the oh no, you go on and play the chords one after the other. Oh no! A sharp G, and you go on for with the chorus again. So E. So, bro, no. Stuck on the puzzle, and you end up with F sharp minor. Then you play the chorus for other four times, and you will go on um, dissolving your voice because the song is ending. Like, I was just stuck on the puzzle. up like this so you play B B muted stroke and F sharp minor and this is pretty much the end of the song so guys that's it I hope you understood everything and I uh, will see you in two seconds because I have something to say to you for all of you you don't want to listen to me anymore. I wish you will have an amazing year. I hope you will keep on and following me in this channel because I'm really trying my best just for you guys. See ya later. Welcome. 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 This is a particular video because it pretty much started in 2014 and ended in 2015. Even though I said during my lesson that this would have been the last video of 2014. The reason for this is simply that I was too lazy to finish the lesson because of all the celebration of New Year's Eve, Christmas and stuff like that. I know that we are the day of the Epiphany, so that's kinda 
unforgettable and shameful for me, but never mind. The reason why I'm doing this video, this short part of the video, because I will let you really soon, is to thank you guys. I always do that, but um, the Thanksgiving on the first week of the year is the best one because I kind of remember all I did during the last year and I'm looking forward what I will do during this year. So, in two words. If I take a look to myself during uh, 2013 Christmas, so last year, I see a jerk with a Luigi Green hat on his head with 200 subscribers. Which is perfectly fine, you know? There's few people, few but good people, who followed me and encouraged me. So, that's pretty fine. If I take a look to me right now, in the 2014 Christmas, I see a jerk without a Luigi Green hat on his head, but with 51 hundred subscribers and this is absolutely astounding for me because when I started this channel something like two years ago um, I genuinely thought that my videos would have been seen by just my friends on Facebook uh, no one I didn't know would have seen these videos you know so I share them with my Facebook friends, and that's it. But now, there are 5,100 people I don't know, but I would really love to, to know better, who follow me. And they go on with amazing comments, which are the fuel who keep me going, and I'm just speechless, because Every day, my very first thought is, let me see if someone commented under a video. And I always start my day with a smile when I see that someone commented something. Because of you guys, most of my days start with a smile. And this is awesome. Everything I have to do right now is to thank you. Promise you that 2015 will be even brighter than 2014 and all my other years. And I'll see you guys next time. I think that's it. See ya.